Hi! Hey guys! Welcome to the My, My Minecraft Let's Play. Definitely the first time we've d tried recording this. Welcome to the second channel. I hope you're having a great day. You have joined us in the midst of a Russian Badger upload spree. And, well, it, as it turns out, Russian Badger uploaded a new video in the midst of me binging his content. So, what better way of taking advantage of a hot, steaming algorithm than to react to his most recent video? So, we are here with robbing $124 from a free-to-play game. Now, I'm not sure whether this is an actual like Russian Badger video or whether he's decided to take up on how to do guides on how to take away money from big AAA industries. Either way, I'm totally down for it. I mean, if we can stick it to the man, then this is going to be a good guide. And if it's just a regular video, then let's go with it. So, YouTube, enjoy the show. And if you're part of this live... Sit back, relax, and please try not to be too disruptive, otherwise you will be sent to the pit. Let's get this. Oh god, I love the fact the first frame of this is already setting us up with an understanding that this is going to be LOUD! LIKE ME! Alright, three, two, one, loud noises. This video contains extremely loud noises, so if you're not a fan of landmines or rap songs from 2004, you should definitely leave right now. The freeze frame. Okay, you know what? The loud noises I can deal with, but rap songs from 2009? I'm already having enough of an existential crisis as it is. I don't need that in my life, thank you very much. But for all sake and purposes, why would this matter? Like, anyone who willingly clicks on a Russian Badger video, we know what we're getting into. Now, I'm not going to pause chat this. We're just going to go for it. We're going to have 32 minutes. And it's definitely not going to go over an hour, I promise. Yahoo! There he goes! This boat game wanted to sponsor a video and give me a custom skin, so I made the Wait, USS World of Warships? Fest into a real thing. Just kidding. I've never That's played this game. I tried to make it into a real Who thing. Who plays this in, this, in, in my community? Illegal. Who plays this? Like, very illegal. Much like all Americans, I've read the Red Lobster oh my God. Service, effective September 2020, and if you remember section 182, it clearly states Lobster Fest, uh, Cherry yes. Biscuits, uh -huh. Endless Shrimp, and Seafood Differently are all trademark terms of Red Lobster, which but itself is also a trademarked term, which leads me to my what? main point. I cannot legally call my custom skin Wait, and you have the warships point? the USS Lobster Fest. I don't want smoke oh. with any company. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing if I play uh, World of Warships anytime soon. Also, freaking, what is this video already? Like, this, this is a, this is a sponsored slop video. This is a sponsored slop game, and he's putting more editing into this and freaking motion capture than most people put into regular videos. That employs lawyers that are willing to trademark the term Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Good Count God. Count on that one, dog. Exposing myself to that kind of biscuit clam chowder based litigation would be a nightmare. Um. I'm about to ruin your career. <laughs> <laughs> so to avoid a lawsuit, I went with my backup name, the USS Lobsterminator. Uh, no, Lobsterminator! I mean, here, just a That's beautiful! Giant lobsters treading on the you, water. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have done I had my own I battleship. Done I would call it the SSS the USS Sinky. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the devs to make the blue paint of my ship automatically. Oh my god, and yet that would water, work like so chameleon. well as the predator predator. <laughs> But apparently, adapting <laughs> lobster camouflage would have broken the fundamental As we all know, the most dangerous predator in the waters are the lobster. Lobster camouflage. Lobster camouflage. Lobster flage. That wasn't enough. They also gave me my own custom flag. Lobster flage. Or if you will, crustaceano flage. Cameo station. No, that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> I love how freaking creative these videos are. Is uh, one of the warships worth playing, honestly? I personally wrote and voiced over 200 custom voice lines. Oh my god. Every single one of them. So shout out to warships for giving me this kind of freedom. Victory. Just as the founding father. Okay, can we just talk a second about how un. Uh, like, how, how much of an unobtainable expectation these videos make? People watch this and like, wow, I can get my own voice in games just by being a content creator? Wow, we, oh boy, I'm gonna start making content just so I can get my own content into other people's games. Oh golly! <laughs> <laughs> What's even better is that my custom skin, flag, and commander are all available to you guys right now. So if you want me to yell at you, man, that shoreline looks awfully unbombarded. Then use code Badger at the link below, and the flag may be. Dude, free, I'm suffering with so much ADHD and player, attention deficit disorder right now. This is just giving me complete sensory overload. Skin on the absolutely based Tier Six USS New Mexico. Based. 
Based on what? I'll even throw in- Based? I used to be based. Based? I used to be based once, and then they put me in a basement where there were rats. Based? Based rats? Based? I used to be based once, they put me in a basement with rats. Rats? Rats used to be based. Ah! On seven days premium time, a port slot, one and a half million credits, and 250 doubloons. All of those numbers will make Albeit, sense eventually. This all seems like a very overly either, elaborate way of advertising as part of the in -game his own pass. narcissism. Speed on the lobster situation. I can summarize the entire rest of this video with one word. <laughs> See, my skin is on that tier six battleship I mentioned midway through the tech tree called the New Mexico. An entire ship filled with men fueled by fried chicken and meth sounds like a good <laughs> oh my idea God. for a joke, but I don't think y'all MFs are laughing. So what now the devs gave me what's called a press account an right. experimental beta version of the game Which has everything unlocked a trillion gazillion wow, talk about freaking content creative privilege Yeah, world of warships. Where's my fucking sponsorship, huh? Having no progression just killed the excitement. Me yeah, Team Fortress 2 now can put Team Fortress 2 in my freaking app and let's take points a press account 86 billion gold in the world's best ship. Hey, big dog. So I started a brand new account to unlock the New Mexico from scratch and grind out every item Oh, why would you do that? Ah, that's like such a self-deprecant thing to do. To play game by spending no money like an evil rat. And two, so I can understand every. Dude, I honestly okay. Game, I honestly think that's the only thing that would ever put me off playing something like World of Tanks, World of Warships. I love these games conceptually, but I could never, never commit myself to something like these when I've already got so many other grindy games I'm playing. I feel as though as like uh, gamers, we have like. The ability to have one, maybe two grind-heavy games in our repertoire. And once you have those grind-heavy games, it's very hard to then let others in. And don't get me wrong, I think grind is great in games, but I've heard so many people's stories about World of Warships and War Thunder and World of Tanks, about just how grind-heavy they are to a point where you basically have to make them your entire life. And I'm not saying that making grind an arbitrary mechanic of the game ruins the sense of immersion. Warframe! But when grind becomes the main precipice of your game, it becomes a bit deflating when that's all there is to it to feel like you're getting satisfaction. And in a free-to-play game, I get it. You need to incentivize people to stick around. You need to give people that, you know, urge to come back every day. Grind does equate for something that's free-to-play in a better standing. But it, there's a balance. You either have a good balance where you still get enough satisfaction and progression for putting in a decent amount of grind, or you have what I've heard from with World of War, World of Tanks, where it's so annoyingly grotesque in how much grind there is to the point where it's detrimental to your experience. There's a balance, and I'm not sure whether I'd be willing to put myself in there. By starting from zero, I may not be a smart man, I may not love to read, but Same! I Same! Wait, you think I'm literate? His ass is not reading. His ass is not reading. His ass is not reading. Yeah, I don't think his ass is reading. For 40 minutes of yapping about boats, so grind on three. One, two, three. <laughs> the first thing was using my own referral code for a head start with two free ships, two and a half million credits, 200 doubloons, which were like real money, by the way, and seven days See, of I like, time, I do like this game thematically. I really do. do. Just I love me some war, wartime, maritime, credits. wartime play, games. I split the game between macro, which is stuff like tech tree. Yo! Yo, macro? Micro and macro? Yo, is this shit like StarCraft 2? Do I gotta micro my macro? Because if I do, I'm a freaking, I'm a drop down a, 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 a three minute orbital, uh, orbital uh, destroyer base. So, dude, I was a Zerg player. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everything you do in port and micro, which is the gameplay itself. Yeah, baby! Oh, Guys, this is not no. pre watched, you're, I promise. You're about to get hit with the Doofenshmitz over here. Doofenshmitz. Oh, no. <laughs> On macro, I wanted to be the <laughs> if I had possible. If I had every missiles, coupon, every crate, every credit, I would call them something balloon. goofy as hell. So if you got. Go dude, if you get killed by a missile with a goofy ass name, not only are you then dead, but you would then have the honor. Of being killed by the Inky Schmitzel Doofenheimer. Like, oh no! The Inky is Schmitzel Doofenheimer is heading in our direction! What do we do? Ah! Deploy the anti Inky Schmitzel Doofen. Like, if the name of your missile is so arbitrary that it takes five minutes to explain, you've already gained a tactical advantage in, in, in maritime warfare. I'm just saying.
Level. Pretend your homies are ordering pizza and I'm that one broke MF in the corner that isn't paying for shit that shouts across the room. Hey yo, get wings! That is me on that. <laughs> the perfect example is daily logging. Hey, like, it was like me back free in shit uni. You get just for logging into the game. I was on that day after day. Just got another 24 hours of ah, premium yes. time just More for logging. More elements Count of in, free to play Unlike bullshit bro, that monopolizes your time. I love it when like games mandatorily force you to play the game every day so you get all the benefits, and if you don't, you lose that entirely. Warships to play. Warships, By the way, please, uh, please sponsor me, World of Warships. I will class, sell your game out. Playing against these dudes is like showing me a picture of the Pacific Ocean. Point oh out every God. square with a submarine. Fuck you. <laughs> I immediately started stacking credits by speedrunning the baby-ass tutorial missions that are as simple as playing a game, winning a game, and equipping a skin. I'm not kidding you. The St. Louis I got from the referral code was perfect for this because cruisers have such a high I mean, rate of okay, fire. okay. okay. Circumstantially, you know, grind and free-to-play minutia is whatever it is. At the end of the day, when people play stuff like this, they're playing it because they don't fucking care. And ethically speaking, when it comes to microtransactions and free-to-play stuff, that, that's a subject in of itself. At the end of the day, for most of us with the brain cells to understand that gaming should be fun, the only thing we care about is, does it go boom? Can I or can I not fire twin-linked Harkonnen cannons at a submarine five miles away and watch it go Because if yes, then we're playing. If no, bitch, you ordering me a pizza and you paying so that I can get my wings. Designed to steal kills for maximum XP game. Are you gonna let me take your kill, big guy? <laughs> All right, take this out. I am such a fucking rat. I'm such oh, a rat. cheeky. <laughs> Total Chad move. a different ship every time. Kick my XP gain even higher because each win with a unique ship in a 24-hour period boosted my progression by 50. Ah, so he's microing his macro. Not only is he microing his macro, majors, he's microing his, his progression. XP, he is min-maxing to the T. I mean, this first. sounds like These a challenge in of itself, right? Of warships. They are super small, super fast, and super deadly because bombs uh -huh, uh -huh, make uh -huh. a big boom, but you sink ships with torpedoes. Oh, you fucking rat. You <laughs> rat. <laughs> oh, that looks like such a bullshit thing. Like, knowing that the torpedoes are heading your way and knowing there's nothing you can do to avoid it because it takes five miles to turn around. Your imminent demise is imminent. Oh, no <laughs> it may be high risk, high reward, but the satisfaction of torpedoes hitting a target when you fire them 30 seconds earlier <laughs> cannot be topped. All right, let's just take a shot in the dark. Very true. Not? If those keep going, those should hit them. Come on, baby. That is you very sad. It's, it's like getting a, uh, man. Come on. a preemptive shot on oh somebody. Oh my God, that damage. Holy <laughs> shit. Jeez. Just remember that destroyers exist to destroy. There's a reason they don't call them survivors. Come on, <laughs> baby. It's Come so on, joker. baby. I'm it's just gonna so dodge. Joker. Yo, it's so joke. If you can it's dodge so a torpedo, joker. you Come can on, dodge baby. a ball. Fuck Every yeah. Oh my god, the hit. hits. Do you guys right, remember? There was a game that was like this, only it was made in space. I think it was called like Dreadnought or something. Like, don't get me wrong, I think this is a great concept, but having the verticality and three dimensionality of doing this exact thing, but in space. I want to do that more. Like, this reminds me so much of games like Guns of Icarus and all that kind of other stuff. And how Warframe attempted to do imitate it. With their uh, Railjack stuff. Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually getting an urge to play this kind of stuff now. About to die. Yeah, there's no or fractured space, yeah, that as well. That is so worth it. Good job, chat, for pick, picking up an idea for me. Super slow and super tanky, like the Yamato, which is over 70,000 tons and nearly 900 feet long. Of course, you can't 70, weigh it tons? anymore. That's almost he as heavy as your mom. Sea, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. In case you can't comprehend that scale in your brain, it's about half the size of a 2023 Cadillac <laughs> Escalade and probably half as deadly, too. You the get they missed out on a your mum joke. They literally missed out on a your mum joke. Where was the your mum joke, Russian Badger? Look, Russian Badger, hire me as your writer. I can put a your mum joke in everything. Like your mum. <laughs> By a 2023 Cadillac Escalade, that's a closed casket. They are not no, opening that shit up for anybody. Did you have your legs up on the dash? Real quick. Go to a new dimension. <laughs> Everything about them may be big and slow, but their range and firepower can be devastating. You gotta get oh the my again, god, from down. They do make down? this. Cruisers are a middle ground. Is, in between this the looks really fun and fast paced, but I guarantee you, yes or no, is this game a lot more slow paced when you play it? Looking at the highlights, look like this makes it look very action packed and very fast. Pace. The ship is on fire. Submarines and carriers. But I will never. I won't deny that it looks very satisfying to land your shots. Bottom of the ocean. <laughs> this is gonna be so much.
damage, dude. That's a bullseye. Come on. It's slow paced. See, I thought as much. Split oh my god. Fucking... Like, yes, absolutely. When you fire your things and you hit your shops, cathartic, satisfaction, dopamine, serotonin, instant. But whatever's happening between your combat, I can imagine it's going to be very slow paced. And not that that's a bad thing. But highlights like this don't often demonstrate the fullness of the game. And if anything, it's more like, oh boy, it's almost like they're trying to sell a sponsor. <laughs> Two, that's 31,500. Fuck you. <laughs> and I dodge your torps. You're still a piece of shit. I hate you. Streaming this crusade on Twitch was a mixed blessing because on one hand, everything is more fun when you guys are around. Rock oh, fell true. on my dino nuggy, the meteor wiped out. <laughs> yo, 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 I can do this too. Hold on, hold on. Ch Twitch chat, what, what you saying out there? What you saying? What you saying? Hot take, Railjack was the best update because of the bugs. Fuck you, Varen, you're getting banned. Horse twice. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You can put a mum joke anywhere, but I can put a joke in your. M oh, that's just terrible. You got you. You know what? I know. In t I know exactly what Russian badger means now. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need to. I put you guys. I give you the opportunity yeah, to put yourself in the video, like, and this really is how you do it. This? I'm like. Yeah. Fucking yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But on the other hand, it led to you guys Q sniping me repeatedly. Of course. My team never of stood a chance. Fucking oh, course. You're approaching me and he's on the other team. Oh, oh. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, this is what you get when you scream. The upside to having viewers that can slap your Listen, if you ever stream a game and you do not expect your audience to stream snipe you just to grief you. More fool on you. If those same viewers can turbo those people, they will they be smiley faced and going, No, I would so never. I would never. Meanwhile, behind their back, they've got crossed fingers. Aggressive kindness. Damn, Master Plow just DM'd me in game. I opened World of Warships just to tell you to take turret traverse, you slungoid. <laughs> Slungoid. <laughs> I am using that as an insult from now on. Did you with a nautical slur? What he did. Man. He absolutely did. He Wait, hit an me with a non-Euclidean slur. <laughs> Captain. God First damn it. <laughs> Listen, it's <laughs> it's not an insult if I don't if I'm not intelligent enough to understand it. Okay. Citadel shots had to be the best piece of advice I received because once I learned to aim along the waterline with armor-piercing okay. shells, no, I can make an enemy's health disappear. How you doing? Yeah, he's like five, I think, ten or five nine. Thanks like for those citadel tips. I think I'm actually knowing how to hit a citadel now. This is kind of tight. Oh thanks. my god. Yo, thanks for those tips, chat. Even with all your help, I still can't hit the broadside of a goddamn barn. What do you mean you're s stream sniping me to get into the game with me and then griefing me by going in the complete opposite direction? Oh, you were stream sniping me to grief the team that you joined so that you could help me? Well, that's just still a dick move. Stream sniping is bad. Don't do it. Oh, that He's advice is goaded. Shit. Holy God, shit. Damn. Yeah, you just so shoot wait. along the waterline and then they explode because you hit him in the Citadel. Waterline. ADHD Chief, who I see in the chat right Citadel? now, he DM'd me because he found my username on World of Warships and was like, yo, shoot along the waterline, dipshit. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> there is one shot more powerful than a Citadel. Wait, 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 wait. You... Is, th is this like World of Tanks? Has World of Warships leaked as much cr uh, critical military private information? about the structural integrity of warships as World of Tanks has leaked about the structural integrity of tanks. Because I feel like though that's the best gauge on how you determine whether this game is a success or not. If people are willing to break maritime law and US legislation or like military legislation to leak confidential documents of the structural integrity of tanks and warships, then you know it's going to be a good game. If they haven't, then it's not worth playing. You strike an enemy's ammo-filled magazine and the whole thing ignites like tannerite at a gender reveal party? When you watch the ATF <laughs> shoot the fake dog full of tannerite? Oh As if there's any other kind of dog to shoot? <laughs> Unfortunately, even after hundreds of games, I never got to see one because of safeguards that prevent them from happening. But if I ever do see one, you'll know what my reaction will be. Motherfucker, it looks like he asked for the strongest <laughs> potion. No, <laughs> no, take... no. Nah, nah. Better, better, better caption. POV. Uh, your, your butthole. <laughs> your butthole on the dude that's about to go down on you. What?
between the red pill and the blue pill. <laughs> I swear that knowing which shell to use and where to put it is half the battle in this game. I was thought HE breaks core components, sets fires, and does damage over time, with the downside that it can't crack armor, but it turns Wait, out that's wrong. Wait, high explosives do explosive damage? What? Wait, what? Citadel with HE? I also thought armor piercing always did more damage than HE because it's punching a hole through the target, but that's also wrong. Armor piercing can shatter and ricochet. Sir, what are called sir, you are explaining things. Off the ship, dealing zero damage. Sir, Comes sir, you, you, this is why you need Poe on the deck. Why are we min maxing? Just, like, deflect the why, why are you Come trying to yeah, explain the Panda quantum too? mechanics and fundamental? <laughs> trajectory it's a of fucking cinematic masterpiece you better fucking change i don't i don't have i just <laughs> want to shoot straight. gun Go watch kung fu panda 2. just Kung-Fu simplify it in a way that a slime girl can understand please armor piercing on tiny ships can also hit too hard with something called over penetration where the shell punches all the way <laughs> <laughs> uh that's low hanging fruit and i'm not gonna swing for it through, which my lizard brain does not understand. That reminds yeah, you of much. my friend of mine. He would always go around roundhouse kicking flies and mosquitoes in his house, and I don't know why. Because he has to have a superiority you complex, what? obviously. Yeah, so you are just roundhouse Bro, kicking your wall. <laughs> the fly just just happens to be there. That cannot be your strength. Wait, you mean that's Personally, not how you're supposed to take care of flies walk. in your house? Would Jojo walk up to a fly and just <laughs> Dude, that's what I do anyway. He's literally me. An armor -piercing shell I see. I see a free. Only, okay, maybe not with. May, maybe not with flies, but certainly with spiders. I see a spider in my house. I'm a freaking JoJo stand that bitch. Like that dude's living rent free in my house. I don't think so. I pay. I'm paying my mortgage. That that fly is not paying me rent. At that spider, it ain't living rent free in this house. No sir. It either pays rent or it pays the price. <laughs> Side of a ship, but if that ship is too tiny or too thinly armored, the shell rips right through the entire hull and into the water before exploding, which only deals minimal damage. Bruh, four overpens and two ricochets make it Ouch. make sense. I eventually figured out the nuances between shell types by spamming them at enemies from every possible angle and configuration. Thankfully, this uh. game treats ammo like a shower beer and makes it bottomless. I try Shout to stretch out. out this shower beer for as long as humanly possible. <laughs> Shout out the makes shower it more beer. economic. Yeah, the strategy is to hold the shower beer under the shower so it refills infinite beer <laughs> hack <laughs> infinite, mm. infinite beer, mm, beer shower are half my favorite kind is the other half because it was a delicate dance to learn defensively you want to answer that's this is the thing with any game though right there's always the minutiae of learning and making shells bounce offensively you want to be broadside so you can fire all your available cannons oh. and really crank up the pain. your mother showed me her broadside <laughs> <Take that down. laughs> oh, <God. laughs> detail with this like come on dude Let, let's not pretend you ain't just doing this for the shell come on man i get it earn your dollar but don't pretend you're min maxing this nobody nobody get like only like maybe one or two percent of people who play games like war thunder world of tanks are ever playing it to a point where min maxing like this matters or where you should really care about it i get it i get that it's great but don't pretend to me like you ain't streaming this shit and the main thing you're thinking about is haha shoot the cannons yo it'd be like playing escape from tarkov and pretending as if you cared about the min maxing of your ergo and knowing the exact difference between a 57 ergo weapon and a 58 ergo weapon which I totally do, but that's beside the point. That's because I've got like 6,000 hours in that game. Why is the well, laugh funnier than the The important joke? thing is, funny, yeah. funny time with memes, me funny time with friends, five, things go like boom, and, and not just some nah. shit they use with a code because I was killing humans instead of bots and taking wins over losses. As long as you don't look at those like, torpedoes, everyone's allowed to min-max one, maybe two it. games. You can't sit there and tell me you're min-maxing this after min-maxing every other game in existence. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Maybe I'm over, over expecting here. Playing a destroyer involves being a rat. That bastard, which comes very natural to him. Absolutely. <laughs> His name is Russian Badger. Have you ever met a badger in real life? Anyone with badger in their name is going to be your problem, the enemy team's problem, your team's problem, and a problem for themselves in any game they play. Of course, they are a gremlin.
<laughs> and now that I'd sunk my teeth into the game, I couldn't get over how much I enjoyed the slower I mean, it's true. I suppose you can just min-max the fun, but... Reflex and prediction over reaction, I feel like... breath of fresh air compared to my usual title. <laughs> it was a blast to be able to play the game, <gasps> to dude, chat, dude. and catch up with my... Okay. Connecting the dots. I get this is kind of Badger's thing to min-max things. And it's funny to watch somebody hyper-fixate on learning something. I would love to see what his experience would be if he played Escape from Tarkov and did a video about that. I would legitimately love to see him deal with not only the hackers, the bullshit API, and the net code. Not to mention then the bullshit of the people who play that game, its community, and the immense amount of scuff that game, come with, game comes with my buddies without being overwhelmed like i usually am on stream that way i could finally ask skulker what he'd do with a genie that granted him three wishes okay i want to revoke bernoulli's principle so wings no longer uh, work and, and eat ass chew grass and okay, i don't know well well he's i'm not i'm not multiply a complete gravity evil, by evil a factor bitch. of nine just to see what happens i want to i want to remove want friction <laughs> Remove friction? Yeah, yeah, that one's good. And then I want to make okay. all fresh water salt water, and I want to make all salt water fresh water. Oh, Ooh, that's like evil. It also kills buried. all the wildlife. <laughs> Everything in the ocean dies. No, I love that from bees. Like, what do you want, Skulker? I want to repeal Bernoulli's yeah. principle. All right, there's four things you can't add. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put a negative sign in front of gravity just to see what happens. And then, yeah, like double world hunger or something. I don't know. Double world <laughs> <laughs> enough, Velvet. I play Escape from, I play escape from Talk Up to Relax. Oh my God, vice versa. No, if you remove Inertia skull Skulker, it's got to be mm. just like that guy that's just heating up in that diner. You know, the screenshot. <laughs> <of his blowing. laughs> like all of his particles are moving, but he's sitting still. At this point, I felt that. How about the we just remove the laws of relativity? Yeah. I mean, if we remove the laws of relativity, doesn't that mean that banging your cystic becomes legal? Wait, what? Well, oh, that's not the kind of relativity you meant? Oh, I need to I need to take back that message. I, oh, dear. The play was decent. <laughs> I could sink ships, and I was winning some of the time. The credits and XP were definitely flowing in, but if I wanted to maximize my economic rewards, what it's do you time mean, to go what? macro. I gotta start gambling it's a for joke. real. Macro to me is basically all the things you do in port, and I got so deep into this shit, it felt like a game within a game. Remember okay, that so I'm if I'm relating no this to StarCraft, macro is what you do in your base. It's how you build wings, your base so up. All of my actions were built around free loot. I had my stack down to a science in order to maximize the free shit I could gain every day. Every day, I'd log in for the daily reward. It's completely uh -huh, free, just uh -huh. booting up the game. Santa's gift container? Hey, I got a Santa's gift container. 24 hours premium, 750. That's a super. 50k, I'll take it. Picking up the 50, 750. Same as yesterday. Oh, yes. On top of that, the Mike first cried. time I ever booted up the game, I got a free drop just for reading an article because I'm a filthy rat. Ooh, and I, I see this in so many free-to-play games. Free yes, please subscribe page. to our shit news article because we're that insecure about our IP that we have to force you and reward you checking out what the game's all you about. You better believe my ass will be here tomorrow. My next victim was the three. But that's how they get you. They that's how they monopolize your time. XP, which usually only takes it's a predatory. Of games uh, then I quad free to play no nonsense. Dockyard combat and campaigns. Do not let the fancy terms fool you. These are all just missions that are extremely straightforward. Playing in a battle is a mission. Letting the other team beat the shit out of you. Ah yes, is a mission. mission. You don't my favorite type of objective. The objectives. <laughs> like you increase your access level, which is just the level of your account, simply by completing battles, win or lose. The big one is level 15, because the game absolutely showers you in rewards along the way. 13 million credits. And we all know why. Because shiny, flashy winning and gives the dopamine serotonin in my brain, brain, brain. Yeah, the dope, dope, dopey means and serotonin. Ooh, got me an epic in World of Warcraft. That's some dopamine. I won a game and made the number go up. Dopamine serotonin! Me play more now because dopamine neurons! Yay! Shiny! It's nine days premium, five containers, countless boosters, and even 500 doubloons in real money gold. Using I... the boosters in. I'm sorry, observation. I hate the fact that I have so much time in PUBG that I know that that's the drop box from PUBG.
Anyway. Countless boosters and even 500 doubloons in real money gold. Using the boosters in addition to my premium account made me oh, yes. two kinds of premium currency. Rate. Really premium capitalize on your need to spend money on the game. And your XP by 65%, but I put on boosters that jacked my gains by 800 and Is it not? Cases, Is that not the box from PUBG? Per game. It looks the same, okay? Openings, and it was a red box with a blue top. I mean, color theory, right? After box of high value items like a dirty rat, knowing I had spent zero dollars in the game. The Santa Cruz hey, open gave me a thousand doubloons, four dollars. 30 days premium, $10. Tier 6 free reach, $28. And tier 7 Yukon, $40. Damn, I got 30 days of premium time. That's fucking insane. Add that to the five. I would like to, this to be an emphasis on the fact that just because a game has the ability for you to pay for things doesn't mean you actually need to do that to get the, the satisfaction out of it. I think people are far too uh, quick to spend money on a game when there's just equal amount of fun that you could have by playing the game for free. That is unfortunately more of a sentiment to people's inability to control their wallets and their own uh, self-restraint and how predatory some games are at convincing you to spend money. Which, for a free-to-play game, is slightly less ethically sketchy than a pay-to-win, a pay-to-play game doing that. But at the same time, even in a free-to-play game, at the end of the day, if the game still has plenty of accessible content without money, do you really need to be paying for those skins? I mean, it's nice to look fancy. If you've got disposable income, sure, why not? But then here, comes the, here comes the quandary about using your disposable income on things that you want to, but whether you actually physically own them or not. Anyway. Anyway. That's beside the point. The ethical conundrum and the quantifiable conundrum of why you pay for games once you've already started playing them is up to you. And where you land on that mark is purely... I suppose, for you to decide. But if you really want to, by all means. If you don't, don't. Just, you know. 500 dubs from the leveling, 175 from campaigns, and the tier 7 premium I got from the calendar mission worth 9,800, and double checking my math here, I have effectively... I will say, though, if I have to open an Excel sheet to understand what I'm doing in a game, I'm gone. <laughs> I did enough of that in university and in EVE Online. I am not repeating that experience anymore. Robbed this game of $124 of value. And even if you're a it's for the process of thieving from the microtransactions. Off, the Russian badger doing what we value. need to. I spent all the money I made like a rat by abusing the sequential bundles in the shop. Basically, if you buy certain bundles in order, they give you a massive discount. So to continue my streak as a coupon clipping bastard, I got Santa Crate 60% off, two days premium 82% off, two more Santa Crates 70% off. Oh my god, he's an actual genius. Santa Crate 70 Who needs to rub Fort Knox when you can just do this. <laughs> But just Dude, the price of gold like is about genius, to go down, I and it's all Batch's fault. Deal in the history of World of Warships trade deals by selling my Tier 7 Premium Yukon for 7 million credits. Bang! Sell that for 7 Jesus. million credits. And it's safe to say that those of you on Twitch did not exactly approve of that move. You goof, you goofy <laughs> ass, you bingus, rip, no! Dumbass, damn. Man, I wish I knew enough about this game to know whether that was a good or a bad thing. Wimpst, re, Chad is upset for this one. Did he sell the yeah, I got rid of it. It's gone. Stupid North Trash. <laughs> I will blow you up like Michigan. <laughs> wow. But chat forgot. Is that, is that what, dude, is is that what success looks USS like? Mexico is getting death rats from here. chat what success looks like? Because if it is, chat, I don't know if I want to be a streamer anymore. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> we don't Nothing. care. I sold it for 7 million. I was never going to play tier 7. My favorite. But then again. Isn't the part of the, is, isn't the entire point of being the streamer doing exactly what your chat hates to impart rage in them so they can get uh, inflate your algorithm by chatting and calling out your bullshit out? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure that's a big brain move on on the chatters on the streamers on the streamers job. You know, purposefully doing things that angers people, like pause champing every five minutes. <laughs> that's right. I pause champ on purpose because I know it engages m you into my chat box. The <laughs> part of this crate opening experience was learning that there is actual tech for opening loot boxes in this game. Because when you earn a container, you have a choice of which one to select. More economic rewards, more signals, more camels, uh. more coal, or try your luck. You see, every time you open a crate... 
Not to say that the gameplay of World of Warships is kind of vapid, but has anyone else noticed that about 90% of this video has been about what's happening outside of the game? Anyone else, anyone else knows that at all? Just, 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 no, just, a th just an observation. Hey, there is a tiny chance that crate is upgraded to a super yeah, like, you know, your game is lacking a bit of substance when most of what people talk about and present in their videos is the microtransactions, like the loot boxes, and the minutia of the macro in your outside of game experience. Off because I'm a seething rat that cannot be stopped. But as I was saying, that last option, try your luck, brought the dark urge out of all of my buddies because it's a roll of the dice. If you select this option, your chances of winning a super container go up but oh, if you lose oh they friggin the they put the ga they put the more ga dude instead with less there's so many levels of gamba gambling and how spilled there's so many levels of gamba you friggin pay for the loot boxes to begin with and then they give you the option to double or nothing what the fuck you what salt unlucky <laughs> man with loot boxes after the cs go video you were the least That's lucky wild. person on earth no nah. I'd win. I'd, no, I'd win, bro. No, I'd so, outgamble you for sure. And as hilarious as it is to have a game mechanic where you dude, can they've gamble gotcha, on they've a gamble, gotcha. I learned to just take the coal and move on. Do not listen like, to the intrusion. Dude, that would be the equivalent of me having a redeem in my chat where you can redeem to make my boob size one size bigger. Or when you click it, you get the option. You get double size or no size. Like my, fl like my chat goes either instantly flat or you get two cup sizes. Like... But you waste your points regardless. Like, you still spend triple the amount of points, but you have the entire option of having nothing happen or even a negative. Thoughts of my homies? You will never win 36 But to put it in a quantifiable way that you'd understand, chat. You are like 36 okay. games of blackjack away from being a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> Anomaly would go crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest part of this entire grind to I have a sneaking suspicion if I ever hung out with Russian Badger or any of these guys, my wallet would drain in the amount of daring and bets we'd make against each other. Like tier and tier oh, what's that? You got a destroyer? You want to 1v1 me, dude? Oh, yeah, freaking 10 gifted subs on on me winning. And then I forget their tryhards. <laughs> about how I didn't know he was black. Goose started cracking a fresh can of soda every time someone placed an order using his gamer subs code, which made his sprite loving girlfriend furious. And Skulker poured gas on the fire by trying to min max the situation so Goose cracked and wasted as many cans as possible in the name of carbon <laughs> footprint. The whole situation. See what is I mean? Very they're all so inherently chaotic. Like, they all propagate too, off of each other's suffering, and I, I fucking love it. Playing, it's like watching Dumb and Dumberer. Pause, are you half white? I'm not it's like watching two people who are so die diametrically black. opposed to each other try and instill as much black. fear in each other as possible. I did not know you were black. How did you not know this? You're Dominican. That's pretty much just like Mexican and black, right? That's just no, I but I've only... call me Dominican again, No, I have only ever... No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I have only I would watch an entire... Okay, hands up in the chat. Who would watch an entire video of nothing but uh, Discord calls between people in this group? I, I totally would. Like, without oh shadow of doubt. Oh my god, I said That was perfection right there. The chat's like, oh, you're black, sips beer. I'm just oh, asking oh, if he's oh, black. Oh, 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 I didn't mean oh, oh, anything oh, by it. I also <laughs> just asked him if he was white five seconds earlier. You had no issue with that. Oh, you're white? Smell you just keep cans around so you can say shit. Fuck it, I'm doing a Crack your can. Oh, no. Think of the amount of no, freaking wildlife no, you're killing with all those rain poles you're putting in the no ocean. It's a sound bite, right? It's a sound bite. That is a sound board. I bought a 12-pack today. I just opened seven. Hey, you better and now you gotta drink a bitch. I have to commit. Actually, fine. Stop. If you don't grab a boot and right, shotgun done, all of them right done, now, at least I'm wasting sprite and not gamer subs. <laughs> Use code. <laughs> you can promote your own gamer subs. That's fine. Black lung, baby. Black lung. Ten percent off, motherfucker. Run I have to think this goes even further because now he's advertised it on my stream as well. Dude, talk about talk about three dimensional advertising. This guy, this guy's thinking we're like five D chess levels of intellect. Shit. Anyway, fuck Sprite. It's I'm pouring all this out. Dog, that got me no, laughing dude. so hard, my body heated up, and I gotta take my hoodie off. <laughs> now use code pasta because you didn't know I was black. Use code Vagrant just because I don't know. Drink some water for once. Hey guys, use code Inky because I'm every color imaginable. Smile.
me. No, nope, I Citadel. Oh, you forget about first. it. Forget about it. The Citadel is basically like an 80s action movie. You hit them in the right spot, they just explode. Photo evidence of the nine. 12 bottles of Sprite on the wall, 12 bottles of Sprite on the desk. You take one down, badges in the room. Oh my god, I've just wasted 50 bucks. Da 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 Kicking around, and I fucking love it. Holy shit! Well done. <laughs> well done. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I was fighting the shadow people. I'm here. I'm here. I love how Skulker joined. Yo, me. you, dude. We were Lego fighting shadow people together, man. The second I killed that. Ah! Does it play that when you join? It does. You want to see? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, shit. Two of them. Hang on. These are my last two in this case. I got another one though. Thank you, Chad. Thank you for buying gamer He's stuff. Gonna have to oh, sucks for the time. How you doing? This whole ass night. <laughs> you are making up for the sprite loss. Double barrel, you ready for it? It was, it was. <laughs> oh my god! You can't oh do that. God. Stop. Damn, this just man's just gonna have to take out shares in sprite at this rate. He pulled both bye, triggers. Bye. Wow. Holy fuck! Another order. Hang on. Dude, if I get through another twelve pack of sprite, I'll start going through the coats, and then I'll just go buy more tomorrow. Think of how legendary the picture will be by the Dude, end. Dude, all of the Run gains he's making from selling this stuff is gonna go into sprite. Please. Yo, by the way, yes, I just <laughs> fucking crushed him. That was perfect. Right oh, on wait, time I'm with But imagine getting no, good. I sold another like order, that. motherfucker. Four seven two one seventy one ninety eight. I see you, King. This is the that stupidest fucking crazy. thing I've ever done for a living. Anyway, my point was that this is the most carbon we've ever produced in this voice call. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, I don't care. He wants to play. Them, but... Bush digger. Hey guys, we won. How did we win? I don't know. We were dicking around too much. Well, I'm pretty sure the enemy died, so I guess that's the. Take away from this, right? How did we win? What happened? Who did what? Nobody cares! The important thing is, they're dead, we're alive, and there's about a million cans of open Sprite right now. It is not in the contract that he has to chug every Sprite. He would die. It's not he a, would not there do is this. Not a, there is 38 grams of sugar in one can. I think I've opened 14 cans. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, 38 grams of sugar times uh, 12 cans of Sprite. Yeah, no, that's still not as not as much sweetness as I have inside of me. Ha ha! Cha cha! Right, Finger guns. I'm thirty-two grams of sugar in front of you right now, just in liquid. Jesus Christ! At I'm getting thirsty, actually. I'm, I am gonna build like a fucking mech in my backyard or some shit. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I need them to get louder and louder and just more and more gain. Crank the gain on your mic and right, max it out right. in Windows. Discord right. output volume max. Z it's gotta be triple boosted. Setting. All right, levels. 100. All right, the game. Get ready, boys. Uh -oh. This is the final step <laughs> towards enlightenment. All right, let me make sure the like echo cancellation or anything is on right now. I'm already dying, dude. I'm already no, dying. No, no, no noise suppression. No automatic. Oh god, the peaking. Ah. Like being control. in the average Shh. Call of Duty lobby. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't even have a can in my room. I want to crack one open just this. This is all passive. Uh, torpedo, dog. Joining in on this. Splitting time and space asunder. Oh, Jesus. You are still moving. Stop, you can't You are still moving. Oh, shit. I learned how to throw. So I've, I'm, I, I, for those who may be watching us on YouTube, I'm currently dealing with, uh, ADHD and uh, depression and bullshit that's going on in my real life. I am very overstimulated and listening to this conversation has put me into a slight schism of my brain. So if I remain quiet for the rest of this video, you know why. <laughs> I'm saying over the summer. By the way, terrible news. Need to go get another Sprite. <laughs> Don't let anyone and for, ever tell you loud isn't funny. Loud is absolutely <laughs> funny. I need to record the That's what my average timeline looks like when I'm editing my videos. As much bit crush as I can get my hands on. But you gotta do it like the portal song. You know that guy that bit crushed the portal song? Oh god. Oh my god, is that ever hilarious. You know the portal song. Did it, did it. This was a triumph. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. Cause there's no sense try crying so over every mistake. Not but just like straight up wasting oh, that, not that song. Now. This is the last spray. Girlfriend has vetoed the bitch. She's like, why are you wasting all our fucking spray? Dude, I'm, I'm, just give me a crisp Wait, 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 wait
Are right, you ready? Go ahead. Here you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting some Pavlonian <laughs> training in here. <laughs> every time I'm gonna, every time I hear a freaking can opening from now on, I'm just gonna think of this video. <laughs> All right, Chad, that's the last one. It's just like a landmine going on. Yes, I was about to say landmine. That was a very okay, crisp can open. You have left? Ten. Oh Yo, so can you oh negotiate God. with her? I tried, dude. <laughs> retry the speech check. Retry the speech She's check. Go back. Christ, dude. It's a white yeah. check. You can dude, retry no, this. I'm the same. I've already oh, go back I'm doing an Iron Man. Man. I'm doing this an Iron Man one of the relationship, bro. I can't go back. Every sprite just gets me closer to the bad ending, bro. Anyway, check this out. Look how many peak mic is peak content. God. <laughs> oh, should I get right up into the microphone to help with the situation? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, you got it. No, you got it, bro. It's okay. Ah, comedy. Loud equals funny. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. Jesus. Uh, you're, you're, summoning, you're summoning an old god. Please stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Compressor. All right, okay, okay, okay. Smoker, can you get even louder? Oh my I god, I hit negative a three four. citadel. Be... I basically <laughs> Once again, what the Holy fuck shit. is even going on in the game? This is literally not. This, this is your only warning. All right, I'm gonna take this it. is I'm world of. This is world of warships. No, sorry. This is just chatting with extra steps. This is not a world of warships sponsorship video. This is the kind of bullshit that Russian Badger gets up to with his friends with, you know, ambient world of warship background music. And. Fucking hell! You can uncrack the can. We figured out a way. Do that to my eight can. So uncrack you can eight. Can. Yo, can you do that to my spine? Uncrack yes. my eight. <laughs> Put that shit Finally, back in the can, so bro. Good. No, officer. I'm not drunk driving. I'm not drinking while driving. Observe. <laughs> <laughs> How can I be drunk driving if I never drunk to begin with? There you go, easy money. Uh, uh, no, I guess I'll just... All that work, it did exactly what I wanted, and then I needed to say a skulker, but you, you know, you might be washed for real. Skulker ain't never washed. I got four Citadel hits, and I got all my tasks done. And now that I've gained all these credits, Jesus. all this XP, played hundreds of battles, and finally... I mean, if anything, this, this does go to show that you can play these free-to-play games and still experience them decently. I am so terrible with this ship. I am absolutely hopeless with the USS New Mexico. You have no idea how embarrassing it is for a developer to make you a commander, give you a custom flag, and a custom skin on a ship only to have that ship be your worst performing <laughs> vessel with a 35 percent win rate well below my average yeah that sounds about right and barely above the threshold of winning one out of every three games when they asked me what ship i wanted from a list of 11 i not only picked the new mexico for the obvious jokes i can't make anymore but it seemed like such a wacky ship that i just couldn't pick anything else this thing is crazy tanky and crazy powerful both the ship and the can i suppose if i ever play this game i'll play the new mexico heavy. just for me song we have ever read. Met a girl and I really thought she liked me. <laughs> but the downside of that heavy weight is that it's also crazy slow and crazy inaccurate. The game's so boring they need a cranberry to do it. I don't think I would ever be a syrup If I ever played this game, I would just meme it entirely. The most confusing odds imaginable. Uh, I can dodge some of these. Maybe? Uh, you you no. pinged you. They're homing you. It's GG. Oh. Uh, kablam, 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 kablam. You're dead, son. Oh, oh, nice. I mean, legitimately, Yo, I, I do kind of want to play I mean, this. It does seem like a bit of a giggle. No, I got him. Oh Fuck yeah. But I feel right, like it would be the most worth. boring yeah, thing to watch worth. imaginable. Unless I had a group of people that I knew would be me, uh, would make it into games with me. And frequently makes a cartoon outline of bullet holes around your target. But even with this laundry list of flaws, I still love the New Mexico with all my heart. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. But when she goes, she really fucking goes. No way this hits, right? Like, no way that hits. How far away can I nail somebody from? <laughs> I just got a random Citadel hit. I thought I was missing all of those shots. 
I don't think that's gonna make it in time. I love that the first thing's fighting has a no. skin. Oh my god. I'm a god, I choosing to use my pen. Herboku, like that that's what that damage is. <laughs> also, I just fucking realized there's lobsters trailing you in your wake. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's so good. Twitch that's kind of funny. Repopulate the, Re -populate the oceans. I not only ended up playing a tier 7 battleship, but also winning a ranked game at tier 7 by ramming into somebody. <laughs> at the end of the video, you have no <gasps> idea how speed. satisfying it feels to have figured out how this game works on a fundamental level. I may still suck. See, that's the thing with any game. Yes, there's no right or wrong way to play games, and at the end of the day, whether you want to min-max a game or not, the only thing that matters is that eventually, if you get good at something, that satisfaction of getting good, there is no feeling better. And if you're having fun, that's all that matters. No matter what my stipulations are. Now I understand the economy, the progression, the combat, all the parts that fit together to make a cohesive game, and I found this learning process incredibly satisfying. I cannot thank you guys enough for helping make all of this happen. Without your viewership, I'd never have custom skins, and I'd never be able to make a video like this. Go Food is just dirt. We made it in different shapes, according to Sigrid. <laughs> what? <laughs> so true. It's so true. Now, do not forget to try out World of Warships for free using my link below with code Badger if it's not all. They need to get some, uh... VTuber representation up in there? Not me, of course, I'm not a VTuber, but they need to get like, I don't know, uh, Niji Sanji up in the- Oh, way, that's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> already there, so you can enjoy my voice, my skin, and my flag just as much as I have. And a final shout out to all of you subbed with notifications on. Even if you're like Skulker and you just do it to hate, I'm still thankful for you. I keep notes on just to hate. I'll be in the comments like, this dude a bitch every time you upload. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, just hating, don't knock the haters. Hating funny? They better. make See, easy I content. Hating and like, every time I, I look into my comments, I get I can pick up like five or six comments and I'll be like, ah, yes. <laughs> Engage my algorithm, you Bitch. That to Skulker? I know some sausage ass fingers type this tweet. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, that's about it, dog. That's all I've Woo! We love ourselves some Russian Badger. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been a fun one. Russian Badger videos are always good. I mean, honestly, World of Warships just never in in amuses me or has been, been something I'd really be entertained by. But to be brutally honest, he made it look fun. And I could see myself giving it a try. But only if I have a group of people that I know would make it into memes with me. Because we can make our memes be dreams together. So, hopefully I didn't make this video longer than an hour. I'm pretty sure I didn't. And if I did, I can only apologize. No, I don't. I don't apologize. What am I apologizing for? This is my bullshit. This is my content. My slop. Mine. All right, anyway. Enjoy your day, guys. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video.